OK, this tutorial is about how to set up and edit spatial mechanisms in MechDesigner. A common requirement in packaging machines is to go around the corner using spatial mechanisms. Often a machine will have one or more camshafts arranged parallel to one another. This keeps things simple down below. No awkward expensive right angle gearboxes and drives. Unfortunately the movements in tooling of packing machines tend to go in many directions. This is one case when spatial mechanisms come in useful. The copyrighted drawing is meant to show two shafts at right angles. We want to inexpensively and free of backlash transmit an oscillating motion from one to the other. Let's imagine that the blue crank is driving the red crank. So we have two pin joints and two ball joints. So now I've added a bit more to the drawing. I've added two planes, one for each crank. These we will create in MechDesigner on two different mechanisms. Then we will add the spatial link terminated at each end by a ball joint. I will try and stick to the dimensions on the drawing, but I suspect that they might be a bit different by the time we have finished. First, I will create a mechanism on the front plane. This corresponds to the red plane in our sketch. We need a line on the base part to pin the red crank to. I will make the red crank 300 millimeters long. The red crank has now been added. Next we must add the plane that the blue crank will sit on. This is our driving crank, so I will add a motion dimension and a motion to drive it. But first, let's define a plane 400 millimeters to the left of the YZ plane. Press the Add Plane button and select a plane to offset from. Then I can adjust the distance. If we are not happy with this offset distance, we can always change it later. Then press the Add Mechanism button to add the blue mechanism onto our new plane. To speed things along, I have renamed our two mechanisms red and blue. So now working in the blue mechanism, I will add the drive crank. Just like before, we need a line to pin our crank to. The crank was about 100 above the axis. As the blue crank is 100 long, I will offset its center by about that in the negative direction, in the negative x direction. Next I can put in the blue crank at 100 long. To make it move I need to add and link some function blocks. I will change the gear ratio on the output of the motion block to reduce the throw of the crank from 100 to 20 degrees.
OK, we have our blue crank and are ready to add our spatial link. A general rule is that you should always add the spatial link and ball joints in the mechanism which has the kinematically solved part. In our case, this is the blue mechanism. If we go into the red mechanism, we find that the crank can be dragged and is blue, indicating it's kinematically unsolved. So now I can add the spatial link and join it to the cranks using two ball joints. The part is now drawn as a solid bar. We can now cycle the machine and see that we have created a spatial mechanism. Now I'll talk a little bit about how and what you can edit in a spatial link. I have added some auto profiles to give the model a more solid feel. One of the reasons we added auto profiles is to help with conceptual design. You very quickly want to get a feel for what a mechanism is going to look like and how it is going to perform. Using auto profiles to create the solids for you avoids you sitting down at 3D CAD and creating all the parts. I can edit the length of the spatial link by double clicking on the rod that now represents it. This takes me into its geometry editor and I can edit its length in the normal way. You can change the diameter of the rod by editing the second dimension that is defined in the part. In this case it is one of the radii that has been created by the auto profiles. I have switched to the model view to show you how to edit the ball joints themselves. Because there are lots of elements in the graphic window, when I select the ball joint I get a lot of other stuff. So to edit it specifically, I right click it in the selection window and select edit element from the pop-up. This takes me directly into the joints edit dialog. I can edit the joint radius. Uh, but of kin kinematic significance is editing the joints offset from its mechanism plane. As you can see, editing this value changes the position of the red rocker. Whoops. OK, so uh, in this video we've seen uh, how to add the planes and then the mechanisms uh, required for t defining a spatial mechanism. Then how to add the spatial link and the ball joints itself, remembering that we should define those in the kinematically solved mechanism. And then once it's defined how we can edit the link, change its length and so on, and edit the ball joints and change their offsets.